Hi there, it's Shell. And, and me. <laughs> Hello everybody. And Clint. So guys, today we are working on the buzzer party. Some envelopes. So I just kind of went on Pinterest real quick. You know how sometimes you have an idea and then you forget it. You go on Pinterest and get another idea. Okay. So this one is like by, I was going to remember, it was like by the paper porch or the porch piece or something like that. Anyways, it inspired me to come up with another idea. <laughs> I can't even remember what it was called. But, um, of course, it probably won't look anything like theirs. Which is awesome. Yeah. So, anyways, what they did or what she did, I think it was a woman, she just ended up cutting down her um, envelopes it looked like so we're gonna do that I'm gonna cut down three envelopes because these all have the um, windows. windows in them is that where you were going yeah hey I did good <laughs> and that's what we're gonna use so you know if you have actually what I did is I went to my bills and I pulled uh, some of the envelopes from the bills that we mail. So you know how they have return envelopes and stuff. We pay all of ours online. So it's kind of nice to um, have a use for these envelopes. So, and that's what this one was from. This one was like addressed to me. So this is the envelope that they sent to me. And I thought that would be really fun to use. So yeah, we're going to decorate these up and like I said it was like by porch prints or something porch paper I don't know Man. my porch prints or something I got my new cup of coffee it's called praline what was it praline and cream cream yeah 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 I'm not so, too sold on it yet it's pretty darn strong yeah I think he made it a little bit strong but it was fine it's not bad I'm not I don't know I hate hazelnut <laughs> That stuff makes me more. <laughs> yeah, he does not like hazel, oh, that's hazelnut. And this one, it was praline and cream, which to me makes me think of um, like the caramel, the soft caramel. Yeah. With um, pecans in it or something like that. I don't think it's bad. I, mean. I don't think it's bad. It is strong, but I don't think it's bad. So I am just going to glue these shut. And I have no idea how she did this. I just saw it and I thought, ooh, I could do something similar. So, thank you to my porch prince or whoever it was. It's a beautiful day here. It's really nice. It was 50-some, I think, 40-some. Probably right around 50 or so. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty, pretty nice day. Pretty nice day. So, guys, what we're going to do is, I was thinking yesterday, I was watching my video, and all those papers I pulled, I didn't use any of them. So, well, any of the colorful ones. So we're going to use those on this. Maybe kind of tone them down with some of these I more um, my subtle ready. things. I just want my coffee. Yeah, so maybe something like this. That one's kind of kind of fun to play with. Hmm. There was one more I wanted. There it is. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> and then those. Okay. So. Yes. This, this video you'll see on Monday, most likely. We, um, it's supposed to rain and snow and everything, so we'll see if that happens or yeah, not. Yeah, I believe when I see it. Sure. It's nice out there. We don't hold our breath, but. Well, and, um. My friend Jamie, she lives up northern Colorado, and she said that it's been 70 up yeah. there. I cannot. That is just crazy to they me. get warmer weather than I Gosh, I can't even imagine. She said they've had the windows open, and they've been sick. So they've had the windows open and yeah. uh, things like that going on, and they've all had the flu, which is not good. 
Well, it's starting out to be an early mud season here. I don't know. Yeah, Clint was outside earlier, and he oh, said, it's God, mud season, mud. honey. I said, hopefully not for long. No, I hate it. Yeah, we're place. not. Yeah, if you live in Colorado, well, a lot of times you'll experience, yeah. I guess, any part of the world. But you know, places that have a lot of green, I'm sure they're not muddy. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I know either. I don't know. It sucks. I we always again. have mud season. Yeah. And you end up like six inches taller or whatever because of all the mud on your feet. Oh, God. It's miserable. Okay. I it okay is not fun. Mud. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Well, you'll get, yeah, like she said, you'll have, you'll, you'll have inches of mud on Inches the of mud on the bottom of your shoes. And you take it off and, oh, it's miserable. Yeah. yeah so. Just part of living in part of doing our job I suppose I just thought I'd go ahead and punch holes in these I always love to find different ideas for um, these envelopes because you know like I said they do just really just kind of um, build up on you. In fact, I, I need to go through my bill thing because it's almost too full. Because when we get, you know, our bills come in the mail, uh, I just put them in one place and then I pay it online and I don't get rid of the original bill. And Clint's like, uh, hun. <laughs> yeah. So I need to go through and shred a bunch of stuff. Get ready for tax season. Okay, so I think we may have time to do three. So we're just going to kind of just do different things and just see what we can do. So I think, no, let's just use this glue, I think. I think is what I want to do. But we did get up early today, and of course we're always up early, but got some stuff organized and straightened up. and. Yep so much better when the house is clean, you know. I haven't worked on my quilt today at all. Yeah, Clint hasn't really done anything this morning. I mean, as far as his quilt. But he really wanted to reorganize some stuff. And i got to tell you guys. He oh, <laughs> you want me to tell? I'll tell it. <laughs> I go out and we have, you know, we have dish. And so you... We, we have dish have network. Receivers. Yeah. We have... So you have to have a cable going in and a cable going out for the second TV, which we don't use. So I go out, I, when I look, and I think, well, which cable is the good one? So I go out, and I step outside, and I look at the dish, and it's black. So I come back, and I said, well, it's the gray one that's bad. So I go, and I clip the gray one. Well, when I went out to pull the black cord out of the wall, then they put a five-foot piece of black <laughs> coming from the dish instead of just using a stupid gray cord. So now I cut my good cable. Now I got yeah, so cable. we cut the good cable off because we have had a lot of, not a lot, wires. lot, but four or so wires that we wanted to get rid of as many as we could. Yeah. And Clint's like, oh, that's the right one. Just cut it off. And I said, I'm not going to cut it off. I'll cut it off. Don't bother me. <laughs> And I have a repair kit, but it's out in the shed. So I'm going to just see. It does have a splice in it. So I'm going to see if I can use the splice so, yeah, just, just to get it running for the day. Ended up cutting the wrong one. But that's all right. <laughs> don't bother me any. I'll fix it like I always do. Don't care. Yeah, he's really good at fixing things like that. And yeah. But it, it was funny. I was so mad when I saw it. It was stupid. funny. We just laugh. Oh, yeah. You can't get We don't get upset. We no. really don't. No sense getting upset about that. Uh, I need to find my scissors real quick. I have these. I'll use these. I might be in the kitchen. But yeah, so we're trying to make our space a little bit more um, usable. usable, more organized. And um, so Clint this morning is like, let's clean this up. So we've been working on that. We did yeah, get a nap in. Yeah, I think I pulled my back, but other than that, we had a good day. Yeah. <laughs> it's my butt, I tell you. Uh, Man. It's a lot of work, you know. It. Well, and we get boxes and stuff, and we leave them out for the cats, and then we just get overwhelmed, and we're thinking, okay, I've had enough of these boxes. So then we, 
you know, empty all the boxes at one time and uh, run them down to the trash or whatever. So, and then next time we get boxes, the cats will have something to play in. Well, and then that did it too. I had to carry our trash can, or pull our trash can down, and that was heavy. Yeah. And well, the last, yeah. Because we did the did. same thing last time, I think, didn't we? we? Did, oh, yeah. we, yeah, we threw some furniture and stuff away. Oh, so. it was Yeah. That thing's hard to pull through the well, and we took some heavy boxes from here and put in the bedroom, and yeah, we've just had a wonderful time today. It's been a good day. Got some stuff done. It has been a good day. I really want to put that on. I'm just kind of collaging on the front. I don't want to cover up my um, clear... Sorry, I'm looking outside to see what there's out there. Okay. They're just cats, but it kind of looked like a dog or a goat got out or something. Anyways. But I don't want to cover up my window. So, too much anyways. Like here, I don't mind that because I like that. So, I might go ahead and maybe put some bigger flowers or something over here. Like these, you know, I think they're too ostentatious, too showy. So, I got that from MASH. <laughs> Were you proud of me, honey? Yeah, I second I heard about it. Oh, yeah, she got that from there. So, I just feel like they're too too big, so I might just use them sparingly, I guess, is what I was getting at. Oh, I tell you guys. But, yeah, we're having, having a good old time. As soon as Clint got up from his nap, the baby was, like, right over there running. Uh, both of them, actually, weren't they, babe? All three of them. Hard was one mother and well, oh yeah, Bubba. So I mean, I'm trying not to hurt Hard's feelings and trying to love on the Bubba and trying to love on the little girl. Which Hard doesn't mind me loving the little girl, but I think the little boy it just hurts his feelings. So <laughs> I try not to love on too much. So we have to give everybody fair, fair love. Yes, we have nine cats. Somebody asked me. I think she's new. We have nine. Our, our limit was four. Once upon a time. <laughs> Once upon a time. And then we had the triplets, which is Sophia no, no, uh, and the two little black guys. So Sophia, um, Cubby, and Bitty Bear or Pard, which is Clint's little guy. And we had them. Uh, for four years, so for four years we had seven, and then just recently we brought in two more. We were just going to bring in one, you know, have an even number, but nope. I now we have now we have not. When when Clint saw Artie, he was like in love with this little guy, and he's a sweetheart. Oh my gosh, he, he is got such. A personality yeah, yeah, he has a personality he that won't love. quit. I tell you. He nurses on your nose and on your lips. <laughs> He is a dog. He, so. he is a sweetie. He really is. And I can't imagine not having him. And it was actually easier on us to bring him in because he, he plays with the other kitten. Yeah, Daddy. Because when we brought her in, I was like, honey, <laughs> it really felt like we brought in five more cats because she was very demanding and needed to play. And, and she still is that way. She is that way, but she will play with Bubba. The little one a little bit yeah. so it's not as bad but oh. yeah it's kind of <laughs> yeah we have an enjoyable time here on the rambling crafter here at the rambling crafter somebody said that clint uh rambles as good as i do well whoever said that clint's the one who taught me to ramble i was always quiet oh, i was always really quiet until <laughs> <laughs> until we got married. Hi, Daddy Lynn. But Mom can attest that he's always oh, been I'm always a talker. A talker, I guess. That's what Mom said. She said that she would, he would move, or should take him to the store, and he would sit and have long conversations with other people in the store. I believe. <laughs> and he'd be like three years old. <laughs> yeah. So, and seriously, guys. We had a wrong number, and Clint's sitting on the phone talking to this person for over half an hour, 
and he hangs up, and I said, who was that? And he said, I don't know, it was the wrong number. <laughs> she was a sweet old lady. It was, she, he just started talking to her about the... I was talking to her about a lot of stuff. About the weather and well, where we lived. and Yeah, I think it was just an older lady who wanted to talk, and we're always up for that. So, oh, heck yeah. You know, we do our locating and stuff. A lot of times it's with lonely people, you know, who, who don't see anyone else throughout the day. And I know some of you guys who watch don't see, you know, people throughout the day either because we're the same way when we're home. We don't see anyone, so... No. It's probably why I like to ramble so much because it's just, it's just fun, you know, fun to chat with you guys and actually have someone to talk to. Yeah. Because sometimes when Clint's not home or something, I don't talk. Like if I'm home by myself or something, you know, how it is, you just don't talk. But yeah, she needed to talk and it was a half an hour long distance call. She called, I think she was trying to call someone in Texas or something, but it ended up calling us. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> and he talked to her for half an hour. You were the sweet old lady. <laughs> uh, I tell ya. Yep. That one lady, remember that on Cherry Creek Road, she was that way. Didn't she just lose her husband a little bit ago and had that little tiny house? And where the old school is, remember that little piece? Little she may tiny. have, I can't remember. Yeah, I think she had lost, lost her husband. She was pretty. She was yeah, we've, so. we've always talked, you know, whenever we're on a job. If we're not in a hurry or anything, we just... Even if we are, we always... Think make time. It's more important that they need to, if they need to talk, if they feel they need to talk, then that's what we're going to do. We're not going to worry about no, you exactly. Know, I mean, it, we've, know. you know, it's been six o'clock at night and we've stayed at someone's house and just talked to them for an hour or so. Yeah. That's just what we do. So, you guys know we can talk about anything. <laughs> so, that's kind of cute. I kind of like that. Let's go ahead and do the backgrounds. Shall we finish this one? Let's finish this one first. I know some people are like, why don't you finish one project before starting another one? Because I don't want to. I didn't think you would be. Oh. Yeah, he's decided he doesn't really like the um, coffee. <laughs> it did have a nutty flavor, and he is not into the nutty flavors. He doesn't like hazelnut or anything like that. Not so much. And then I did put my Tim Holtz people back, but I kind of want them back up so let me go get my Tim Holtz people and I'll be right back okay guys sorry trying to put it up okay sorry I had moved her light a lot so I can see when I watch TV yeah but and I was I don't have to worry about that now because <laughs> why the TV oh yeah the TV's not working <laughs> Uh, so I want about this size, I think. So it's kind of some of the larger ones. I did have some really sweet comments about how people have these paper dolls and they don't know what to do with them. And so I'm glad that, you know, I'm giving you some inspiration. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. That's cute. I think I want her on this one. But I like that size, and a lot of times I don't get to use the really big ones because they're just too big for a lot of my projects. But I think this is going to be a movable uh, pocket. No, actually, I'll probably just glue it down like a pocket inside. So that's cute, and it looks like she's standing there. So I really like that. But yeah, I've had a couple people who said, and this was a while ago, that um, all the people using paper dolls, it was just so much, and they were tired of seeing them. But I'm glad that you guys are enjoying watching the paper dolls. Because I like to use them once in a while. You know, like I said, once in a while I forget. But isn't that precious right there? Okay, so let's see what else we want to put in here. Maybe we want to kind of like put something behind it. And one lady, I think it was Robin, 
Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Where? She said something about, um, I think it was her, that whenever I do some collaging, it's just magic. And it, trust me, it took, takes work to, you know, to get to where you need to be and to be happy with what you make. So, I mean, it really does take some practice. I remember talking to my mother-in-law saying, I wish I could, you know, do the, do this kind of stuff, but do it so it's, uh, I don't know where I want that, so it's um, more comfortable, kind of like cooking. I love to cook, and so I wanted it to be more comfortable, and just kind of sit down and make, you know, make a project or whatever. I gotta read this comment. Lou Jen Jen Jennings. Lou Jennings says, "Clint, send me a cat. I have a small mouse that's rolling a po pecan through the house at night." <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I told her to expect. Um, uh, told hmm. her we're sending her a cat. Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God! I can just hear that stupid mouse rolling that pecan around. Well, oh, and right. truthfully, we often have nuts around because my sister always gives us those I know, big I nuts. I found a stupid almond yesterday. You found an almond in yeah. the shell? Yeah. We're at by the kitchen sink. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that the other day. But where do they come from? So, Your dumb I don't sister, know. That's where I know where mine from. come from. <laughs> but sis would always give me nuts, like, in the shell and stuff because we have a as joke. As a gag? Yeah, as a gag. I find them in my and, car. And they still appear. I know, it's so irritating. I was digging, and I found a whole bunch in my stupid trunk. But what I did last time she did that is before we left, I went into her car and put a whole bunch in her car because she didn't lock I it. I never really did that. <laughs> yeah, she didn't lock it, so, that you was know. on her own fault. And she's like, uh, Michelle. I'm like, what? <laughs> Just happened to see she this. I think this it. would be really cute. She's an honor turd, I tell you. Sis, isn't she, though? She's worse than she me. Is. By far. <laughs> She's worse than Clint by far, he says. I don't mm. know about that. Mm. I have got her. Oh, she's fun to scare, though. Yeah, so this is really fun to scare. I love that when I stare, and then she says, that's just wrong. <laughs> and then forget I scared her in the bathroom. It was so awesome. I I yeah, this. Clint would do, um, put scary masks and I went, stuff in the bathroom. Oh, my God. In I the got toilet. this stupid, you know, those claw machine? I got this dumb witch's head, and it will cackle. So I got, I, I got this idea, and I had, had all this fishing fishing line, and I had that all these straws Debbie. cut up, oh. and I taped, and I had it, because we, we never keep the bathroom door closed, and so I had to have it to where she closed the doors when that dumb hitch, witch, witch's head would fall down and cackle. <laughs> so I had all this fishing line, and I had this cardboard tape. I mean, I spent a long time doing this. That was for Debbie, though. Was that for Debbie? Yeah. Oh, my God. And, and he had her kids' help, my best yeah. friend. Yeah, oh, yeah. I had the kids' help. And and that's when I put one of those scary masks in the toilet. Yes. She screamed. She screamed. <laughs> she screamed, it, and that dumb witch didn't cackle. Every other time, that thing would cackle, and it didn't cackle when it fell. But, man, it was funny. Oh, my God. She screamed. <laughs> Because my friend Debbie and I, we would go for walks, oh, and yeah. her and the kid or the kids were in on it. So when we came home from our walk, she always would go to the bathroom before they left, and so it was all set up in there for. Oh God! That, what, that was, She's a good screamer. <laughs> boy, that woman will scream and scream and scream. I don't even know if she even takes a breath. No. She just screamed. Like it's a solid awesome. minute. It's funny. I even got her to pee her pants one time. I was pretty proud of myself, <laughs> I tell you. She said she told Jill I wasn't going to tell him, give him the satisfaction, but I heard about it anyway. Yeah, I had to tell him. That is so cute, guys. I love how that's turning out. Okay, so let's do something like right here, just because it's really empty. So, maybe... A stamp. Uh, I already have a stamp. Oh. I know. Good try, though, babe. Look at you all thinking junk journaling and stuff. Oh, yeah. All the time. All the time. So I don't know that I need something there. I just think... 
That's really cute. I like that. Okay, let's just leave it. We'll glue her down. What? And then I want her little foot right in that little crevice. When what I was thinking too is I could put some Tim Holtz words on it. Clint decided he does not like that his coffee. That is some gross coffee after <laughs> drinking it. Oh man, that stuff's got bad flavor. I, I didn't even finish half of it, so I know where that I know where that one and the other one are going. I'm throwing those two bags away. What's the other one? Pecan bliss. I don't know. Some oh, you don't want to try that one? No, I'm good now. Good mail them to your mom. Yeah, they're just sample packs anyways, aren't the they? The creme brulee is good, and that cinnamon one's good. I like the cinnamon one. Oh, yeah. The other one's just a medium roast. This one says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So I thought that'd be cute, because she just looks like she leaves a little bit of sparkle. Don't you think of a fairy? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Do I want it like that? Sure, why not? But yeah, like a flurry, fairy kind of flying, sprinkling sparkle everywhere. Yeah. Kind of Is that what you're getting at? Right well, actually, like my new gonna... eating pad, boy. It's good. Wish I knew the name of it. I don't think it's got a name, but it's good. Oh, yeah, it does. V-R-E-M-I. V-R-E-M-I. If you're looking for a new heating pad. This one's humongous. Clint recommends this, this Boy, one. Nice. That I'm, is so cute. Look at that. And I know my heating pad. Now, these can be a little bit um, bulkier. Hey, I like that, baby. Isn't that cute? Where'd you put the one thing that you... Oh, you left it. What was... What empty spot are you talking about? Oh, you can't see it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you guys. You guys. I tell you, Clint. I think the caffeine might be, uh, might be no, getting to you. Way. You're always that way, babe. That's what I meant. Okay, so I'm going to work on this one now. We might just have two. We'll see how long it takes. We did start the little guys on that colloidal silver. I ordered some off Amazon just for animals. And we just started on this morning, but he already seems like he's... I doubt it would work that quickly, no. but it seems like he's already breathing better. Where is that little bugger at anyway? Hmm. I don't know. I don't see him. Hmm. He sure is a cutie pie, though. Yeah, he is. Oh. Yeah, we'll probably just do two today and because I still want to make tags for them because I want to show you guys the tags. I thought it was a story this morning. You thought what? I, I thought it was a story this morning. Oh, well you can tell them when it's your turn. Well, that ain't right. It's never my turn. Oh. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this one. That is such a wonderful I just love that. My journal that Dee Dee Oh, made. the Dee I don't know. That just meant the world. He's still talking about your journal, Dee Dee. He Thank loves you. it. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. Dad and I, Dad and I and Mom, we were driving back to Kansas one time. And Dad hit, or Dad and Mom, they hit a stupid tumbleweed. And it was the size of the front of the car, one of those old 80 Buick. Wow. That thing was stuck. He had that thing stuck in the grill all the way to Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> it blew across the interstate. That's funny. Yeah, it was huge. Of course, I was a little kid back then. But I'm like, well, I had to be 16. Well, would your mom have went to Kansas with you guys when you were 16? I think it was to visit oh. Grandma, I think, or something. <laughs> I think that's what it was. Oh, yes. 
That looks pretty nice. Uh oh. What? I think I heard that little booger. I don't know. I thought I heard a dog or something outside. I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh what? I forgot to ink it. Oh dear. And I already put glue down. Hmm. He was eating earlier, so I don't know. Okay, let's put this down. I'm going to go ahead and put it all the way across. That's cute. So I'm just bringing in, you know, some of the other colors and stuff. Seriously, Butterball. Oh. Okay, you could have waited until I have my lap clear. No, she couldn't. Okay, come on. Oh, jeez. Could not wait any Man, longer. You need a diet. Sophia oh, is in Daddy's Jane lap. Louise. Hi. Thank you for your kisses. Oh, really? <laughs> She's so bad. She she doesn't know what personal space is. She doesn't. She gets right in your face. I mean, like her chest is on your face. Yeah. And yeah, and it's hard to breathe. And then she, I have a hole in my chest, and she's always stepping in that hole. Yeah. Yeah, she's she, not. She doesn't know she's a big fat cat. And she oh. hasn't since she was little. No. She's always. Yeah. She has not learned that you need personal space. No. Nope. <laughs> I tell her that all the time. You need to know what personal space is, but it doesn't seem to matter. Nope, not Sophia. Oh, you know, we were talking about the cat, uh, Arctic and his name. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he cares whether or not he learns it or not. Oh, yeah. He was in there. <coughs> he just done something, and I went, hi, Arctic, and he, all of a sudden, he looked at me and started meowing. So, I so think, I think, we think he knows his name, but he just he's just... Care. He's got selective hearing. <laughs> I think that's a big thing. <laughs> that's what we think, yeah. He, and I didn't say it any different. Well, and I said it later after you told me that, and he came right up to I me know. like, I've known my name this whole time. Yeah. yeah I'm a little stinker. He was, he was buffalo on us, I think. Yes, because Clint's like, come here, Arctic, and he comes running. Yeah. So I think he does know it, which is good. Yeah. So I am just kind of using different pieces, you know, throughout. Man, she's full of the juices of life, I tell ya. She's so funny. She takes care of like the cleanup part or the cubby, and I mean, they are their heads are soaked. I mean, soaked. Yeah, she really uses. See, water. like I said, she's full of the juices of life. She takes care of her brother. She was taking care of the baby earlier. Yeah. Arctic, and then she would growl at him. <laughs> so I had to rescue him from her. Yeah. That's kind of fun, just using different pieces on there. Kind of like that. Let's use another one of these, kind of bring that color in. Or let's bring in something else. Where's that other one that I used? There's a picture of me feeding uh, Sophia. So if you guys, a video, not a yeah, we have a video of Sophia when she was a little bitty baby and Clint was bottle feeding her. She's always we, been a we thought she was a guy, a little boy, but she was so furry and it was kind of hard to see everything. Yeah, <laughs> but she's really she's my girl. She loves she's her daddy. That's kind of fun. This these are really fun, and I love that we. Can use up some of our scraps, you know. Always okay. Good when you can use your scraps. Well, exactly. I like to use up my scraps, and a lot of us are using up scraps. There was somebody, I think it was Kateri, and she said she's trying to use up some of her scraps as well. Hi, Kateri. Yeah, so I think it was her. So doesn't even look like they, she's even touched them. I know. Yeah, Kateri, it doesn't look like I have either. You know, you think, oh, I'm going to use up all my scraps, and yeah. Okay. I think they just gather in the thing. 
just grow. So I'm going to pop this down and then we'll trim around it. Mm -hmm. Sophia's a toucher. She loves to touch her face. Yep, she does, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. And then I kind of like that, so I think I'm going to just put another little piece there. Kind of like what we did on the other one. So... Just kind of figuring out where I want it. And then we'll make tags for these two. And we'll save the next one for another time. Just trimming around the edges. Like I said, most likely these will be pockets on inside the journal and they'll be glued down. If I wanted to make it like a um, movable pocket, then I wouldn't I would probably put coffee dye paper or something pretty on the back. But for now that's what I'm thinking of. Then I'm just gonna trim this. What the heck did you just do? Oh, punched a hole. Punched a hole so I could find it easily. Hi. Those are cute. Okay, let's see if we can find the Tim Holtz person. Let's see. Let's see how it works. That's what we've we done. This container I picked up at Hobby Lobby. It's called the Paper Studio. If you go and look, I think... I don't know if they have this exact one now, but they have. They, sometimes they change the outside, but you can find them in Hobby Lobby. No, not that. Did you mail it ordered online? Oh. Yeah, it was ordered online. I was thinking, I don't remember. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Don't mean to yawn. What? <laughs> those are kind of cute, those little girls. I like those. And I always ink around the outer edge. I just feel like it kind of gives it a little bit more bulk and kind of makes it stand out a little bit and hides well, that white edge. Hide the yeah. Edge, I, think. I think that's a dang good idea. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, like you're the one to come up with it. I got pictures of it. I'm so <laughs> smart. I didn't come up with that, by the way. <laughs> I know. Be nice. So let's see. I think I might want to stamp down here just so they both have something to stand on. I don't know. That's just how my mind works. Let's see what we have down in here. So if we put that there and then they could stand, that would be cute. Yeah, let's do that. Figure out how to do the hourglass pattern, so. Yeah, Clint's other pattern for the month. What is it? Club of the month? month yeah, block of the month. Block of the month is an hourglass pattern. So he's been working on figuring that out and all that good stuff. Because it's do I want something the way behind I that? Things, so I had to make it where I did it. Exactly. I got rid of you for a reason. I got stuff to do. No, you didn't, Daddy. I'm supposed to see Mom and say hi to Grandma. Oh, Grandma can't watch. I don't think Grandma can watch anymore. She, yeah. her, um, nope. her nook broke. So I'm going to look online and see. That might be kind of cute. 
Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Just to give it a little bit more, add some different um, shapes and stuff. I like that. And I think I'm going to glue it down first before I cut it, just to make sure I get it to be the right size. Because I want them there, but I want you to be able to see that it's a banner. Just a little. Cute. I like that. And let's see what else I have that I could maybe put like on that just to kind of dress it up a little. That's cute. I don't know where the, oh, he's up there. Oh. Come in, I'm going to cut a little bit. Okay, sounds good. I'm bored just sitting here. Are you? I am. That's kind of cute. I like that. Okay, now let's see if we can find any words that we want to use. I did that coffee in the can. But I'm gonna oh, that's a good idea. Huh. You can save it for coffee dyeing. Oh, you already tossed it? Yeah, probably don't want to mess with that. Okay. So, words. <coughs> Let's see, maybe just along the bottom that might be kind of cute. Um, I think I want it to be a little bit longer. I saw one that I thought might work, but... Yeah. So they said the groundhog did not see his shadow. That's so, early spring, so they said it's going to be an early spring. What do you guys think? Our, our uh, one of our local weather ladies kind of got. Yeah, she very, was kind uh, of upset that people believe the groundhog, groundhog, but to me it's like Santa Claus. You know, why can't you believe, have fun in it, and, you know, but she was not happy. She's like, She's I can't believe. snotty. What do you call it? Not, uh, not know. egotistic, but another word. Hmm. She is very condescending to the, the, the ones the who said they, that to, yeah. Yeah. So she was. But, cool. yeah, you know, and I'm thinking, well, you know, it's kind of like Santa. Why can't people believe in it? Because truthfully, our weather people are not. Not 100% either. Exactly. So, yeah. So, you know, I told Clint, it doesn't really matter to me. I just think that. I think it's fun. What's yeah. I mean, it's, it's just something right. fun for people to do. You know, it's not, I don't know if people 100% believe in. I figure, you know, it's on the calendar, so it's not like it's really going to come earlier, but who knows. Well, that's the way I always look at it. I mean, it's on the calendar. And I'm pretty right? sure they said earlier they said that he did not see a shadow or that he did see a shadow because I asked Clint oh my gosh he saw his shadow not that I care but you know and uh, then they said he did not see it so I don't know but I think he would have seen it because it's really like clear and stuff here I don't know I don't know well and that's in Pennsylvania oh well then you people in Pennsylvania let me know is anyone in Pennsylvania that we know? <laughs> Diane H. Diane, let me know there, if, no, if he would have seen his shadow. Yeah, there's one of our <laughs> YouTube family members that lives There are. In, I can't remember who it is. It's not Marilyn, is it? Here's Sophia. Hi, baby. Marilyn. I wonder where Marilyn is. No, I don't think it's Marilyn. Oh, good. There's Sophia. Somebody said they really wanted to see Sophia. There she is. 
She used to always get the attention, didn't you? Before the babies came, huh? Yeah. No, she just doesn't get up there very often either. She doesn't. Get a baby. Get a baby. Yep, so this is our, she's our four-year-old. We have four-year-old triplets. And she's one of those guys. Yeah, she's a sweetie. She's pretty sweet. This is the one who doesn't let you have any personal space when she gets in your lap. She's like so far in your face. Huh, yes you are. Okay, I know, I know guys, I know. Oh. I know, honey. I'm sorry. Mommy needs to finish this, honey. She was not happy with Mama, if you guys couldn't hear her. Oh, I tell you, Daddy kind of threw her off his lap. Yeah, I did. And I'm not <laughs> sorry. Daddy, you need to do this thing, too. So what can... am I doing? Oh, that's You're right. sewing it on. Yeah. Okay, so I need some harder cardstock or something. Oh, you know what I was going to do? I think I was just going to use some of this for my tags. I think those would work. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Just want it to be a little bit smaller, so about four inches. shorter. I want it to go in there really nicely and not have a uh, issue, you know. That's not straight. Okay, that's straight. There we go. And then that's how that looks. Isn't that fun? And I'm just going to trim off this just a little bit. Come on, you. Kind of sticks in there for some reason. There we go. So oh, that's pretty, sorry, you guys can't even see because I put you all the way over there. Sorry about that. So I just cut this piece down to go in here. And then we'll cut another one down for the other one. Maybe this one. This one's really fun. Mm. Hey, Bar. Is that one four travel? inches too? Yeah. So just under four there. inches. You want to go travel? Uh-huh. I was going to do some stuff. If you want to love, I will. <laughs> He's talking to his cat. Oh, yeah. What do you want to do? Uh-huh. There we go. I think that's in there all the way. So, let's trim that down. Aw, poor little beady boop. Well. Okay, there we go. Yeah, those look nice. Biddy's the, the soft harder one. Tell you all about. Yeah, Biddy is Clint's pard, who and he gets upset when uh, he doesn't get love from Daddy. Yeah. Enough come love, on. I guess. Come on, come on, pard. Okay. Come on. So that's really <laughs> cute, and I love how it looks through the window. Come it's on. really fun. Right, so we could go on. ahead and collage Bye. here, but I don't want to. Um, oh, I don't want to make it too thick, but I think we could do that. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put coffee dyed paper on the back. Because I have some right here. Yeah, we haven't snuggled You guys haven't snuggled today? Biddy gets really sad and he'll go days 
couple of days or so without snuggling with Clint. So then Clint gets sad because his little guy won't snuggle with him. Yeah. So he takes all the snuggle time he can get. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I have that one, and I need one for this one. He's so much coming, he really is. Yeah, he is, isn't he? So, pull out my scraps here. And this one, when I folded it, it ripped, so it's perfect for to use some on this because it's not going to rip, you know. It is really, really my very, very first male, male cat. He's always had female cats that he's taken to or that have taken to him, but Biddy's really the first little guy cat. Okay. Funny, Michelle says that if I'm gone, all of a sudden he'll start acting different, and then pretty soon I'm home. Yeah, it's kind of like he almost knows Daddy's coming home, and uh, I usually have to talk to him. But you guys have heard him yeah. cry. He's the one that cries in the background. Sometimes when Daddy's asleep or he's not home, or he's the one that walks around talking. So yeah, he is too. If I'm out gardening, he gets really sad if I'm outside and he can't. He can't find Daddy, then he gets sad. Yeah. It's funny, but it's not funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> kind of sad that he's so attached, you know, but... Well, that's what we're trying to do with these two, the two new ones. Make sure they're not just attached to one person. So we're both making sure we both love on them equally and stuff like that. So they don't have the same kind of issue that Part has. Part has. But he is my companion. He really is. Yeah, whenever I go somewhere, Clint has, has his animals to keep him company. Tonight. Oh, you remembered? Yeah, I don't forget everything, dear. <laughs> I know, but for the last three days or something, every night you're asking me, what are we having for dinner? I know. I'm really... Yeah, I'm going to make homemade stuffed shells. So, we shall see how those turn out. I think they'll be good. Oh, We're going to watch the Super Bowl. Just kidding. We don't watch... Sports. Don't we don't watch news or TV really, so it's kind of. I watch. We watch Swamp People. And I have a. Uh, it's called Highway Through Hell. It's a truck towing thing. That he Canada. likes to watch. And I watch but, that. I think that's, that's kind of fun. To I just tune him out and read a book. Yeah. That's cute. I like that. I still need to trim this one just a touch. Because I'm not going to be, oops, happy with it kind of sticking up. That would probably be perfect. There we go. That's cute. This one. I want to cut too short, huh? Oh well, it'll be fine. Sorry. Oh, my camera fell. Sorry, guys. But yeah, this one I cut too short. I was thinking it was a lot shorter than the other one. It will be fine. So, 
And then, especially if I put some ribbon and stuff on it. So let me grab my ribbons. Ah. I don't know why it's doing that. I think I need to tighten it or something. There's Cubby. Okay. Cubby, Cubby. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm having all kinds of issues now. I know, Bubba. Not right now. I know. I know. I'm almost done. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry. Cubby Dean. Okay, no bubba. I think I need to twist it and tighten it or something so it doesn't do that. Let's see if we can get this done and then I'll fix that in a little bit. Okay, so I do have these and then I needed my tiny attacher. So let me go find that and see if I can't fix this camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, sorry about that. Okay, so I think I am just going to <laughs> cleanse in the background, I'm trying to keep the cats out of trouble. Oh, so I think I'm just going to trim off like half of this. There we go. Where'd your little guy go? He jumped down. Because of those. My hands have glue on it, so all these little strings are sticking to my fingers. Okay. And this is just a Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. I love it. Clint laughs at me every time I say the, the name of it, but that's what he calls it. A mini stapler. It's a mini, a mini stapler. stapler. Um, this is funny to me. There we go. That's perfect. And I'm just using some sorry silk that my friend Jan sent me. Hi Jan, if you're watching. Hi Jan. She has been in Florida. Oh really? Yeah, I think she lives in, where do you live Jan? Let me think. Georgia? Do you live in Georgia? I don't remember. Yeah, I think she lives in Georgia and she was with her grandchildren in Florida. Oh, that she has. Yeah. She's so sweet. She always writes me and says, Michelle, I haven't left you. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Jan. We She's do. such a sweet lady. We just love you guys. Like we say every time, you're just our YouTube family. And yeah, you guys, all of you guys are just our YouTube family and we just love you all. But she'll write me and say, Michelle, I'm going to be away for a while. Just want to let you know. <laughs> oh, man. So cute. Okay, so I, I'm not sure how much time we still have, but let's say we still have some time. And we'll kind of decorate these tags up a little bit. Actually, I want to make them into tags. Can't remember if she did or not, but I think that would look cute. I'm thinking she did, but I cannot recall. But I like that. I think that's cute. You know what I was wondering is if this one would fit here. Because this one doesn't seem to have an issue with things sliding down. Except it would be too tall, huh? Huh. Okay. Well, I'll try it. Yeah, it's nice, huh? Yeah. Okay, so now we just need to kind of decorate these up. So I am just going to just kind of decorate right here. And I thought I would do something simple. Maybe just like a rose or one of these roses or something, just to kind of decorate it up. 
So then when it slides in, I think that would be really pretty. Just to see. Again, I am doing all the edges. And I don't want a whole bunch of bulk here either. So that's one reason I was thinking of this. Maybe some like uh, coffee dyed paper. Not coffee dyed, but um, music paper or something. Just to kind of dress it up just a little bit without adding too much bulk. No. So I need this. Scraps are in there. Just to decorate the tags a little bit. So maybe like this. Yeah, let's do that. could certainly do whatever you wanted to for this part. I just thought it'd be really pretty just to have kind of fancier and you know by covering some of it up I think it kind of softens it especially on that really dark one I think it'll soften it up a, a bit. And then this here and this I thought that'd be kind of fun just something like that. So let's cut this in half, I think. Yeah. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Cut it down just a little bit more. It's a little bit too big. Maybe on this side. Just so that it looks pretty, you know, when we pull it out. I think that'll be really nice. Yeah, I like that. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's do that. Doesn't have to be anything big, you know. Just something little. to slide under there and I hope I kind of have it in this place I think I do and so we have the um, roses shining out shining through and then you can ride it on the back cute. I like that one. So this one is done. Again, it says leave a little sparkle wherever you go. I love that. And she's just a cute little girl. I just love that. Okay, so let's do the other one. Again, I think I just want to put some kind of rose on top. Um, let's see what I have here. Now this one has, you know, the two windows, so I don't really know if I want, ooh, maybe something like that there, and then something okay, yeah, let's do that, that's kind of fun, uh, maybe I'll go with pink though instead of the bright red kind of goes along better I think yeah that'll work and then again we're gonna do some coffee paper or some um, music paper behind it just to give it some interest the rooster yeah 
I know some people don't like hearing a rooster crow, but I love it. We love to listen to our roosters. And that little baby that we thought was a female is a rooster. Yeah. And boy, he's funny. When they, when they first learned to crow, learn to crow it is so funny. Yeah, so he's like, what in the world is that noise? And then we remember he's crowing, so... Sounds like someone's strangling a chicken. Yeah, it does, too. It's the funniest thing. Yeah, it's funny. Again, I am just doing the edges like I always do. So that is about there. And then this one. Just to decorate it up a lot a little I'm not too concerned about you know tons of decorating for the tags okay this one like here just trying to see maybe I'll just put one on there Instead of that one. It just seems like it's too overwhelming to put both of them. Let's see if we can fit this guy on here. You can still see some of our music. Yeah, that looks cute. These are some awesome doilies I got from Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. Did I tell you on here that we got your package? Oh, the, no. The cats love it. Yes. You know how spoiled they are. We already put it up for them, but they loved it. And we pulled out some of the catnip toys, and Cubby was all a flutter. Yeah, I don't know where that mouse or fish went to. It'll turn back up. <laughs> oh, hi. Can you, hi. can you hear little guy? He's okay. Crying. Hi. <laughs> Are you okay? He okay. heard daddy crying. He wants his daddy. Let's <laughs> see. Hi, honey. I think I'll do it like that. That way I have some okay. of the you stuff showing. Aw, mm -hmm. oh, little guy just woke up and he's in daddy's arms now. <laughs> it's kind of like as soon as he's awake or we're awake, he's like, I want to lay with you. <laughs> so cute. One step closer to having my fabric cut, though. Yeah, you gotta stop and love on the kitties first, huh? Yeah. Always. Okay, guys, I think we're done. Ooh, ooh. So let's see how this looks. There's a little bit of glue coming out. I don't want it to stick my envelope down. So. Because at the time, I didn't know what that noise was at first. He's got such a teeny tiny voice. voice, yeah. So then that one has like roses and stuff on the inside. And then when you pull it out, those are cute. I love those. So thank you, my porch prints, or whatever it was. Sorry, I can't remember. Um, for the inspiration. So again, this is not my idea. I saw something similar on Pinterest. So, thank you guys. Oops. Where is it this way? Okay, it yeah, turned the other way. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, yeah, this one says, Darling, you are a work of art. And I am, you know, I do kind of have these marked for this one journal I'm working on. But if I don't use them, I could use them in any journal. So, I just really like them, any spring journal or something. So, thank you guys. Hope you give this a try. Come join us over on Facebook at the Ramblin' Crafters with an S. I always have a link below. Be sure and hit up, hit. Be sure and hit the subscribe button. It really, um, we really appreciate it. We do try to put up daily videos, though we do miss a day here and there. But, and uh, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.